Broke for your hour, broke for your shy, broke for your hour, broke for your shy, broke for your hour, broke for your hour, but she never shy, but Hashem, God could dash. The blinds of the apostles and the elders of Primo sold you well. Salutation to the whole the elect out there, you are to the dark him that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. All right, I'm the preach on this week's topic. It's going to be entitled The Rise of uh, Cryptocurrency and the Fall of the Tangible Dollar. Uh, the inspiration for the show comes to the fact that you have this uh, Bitcoin thing. You know, that was $3,000 back in March, and now it's supposed, to, it's supposed to, it's about to hit like 60000 or whatever. So, it's all eyes on digital ledgers, you know, whether it be Bitcoin, whether it be the Ripple, whether it be uh, Dogecoin, whether it be this, that, and third, all right? You're seeing a, a varying away from your traditional investments, such as stocks and bonds and real estate, which people still do, all right? But it's all being veered toward this whole cryptocurrency thing. And we know, you know, if you've been reading the news or you, find, or you have any type of financial uh, articles that pop up in your stuff, you see that this thing has a, a market cap of over a trillion dollars. So that's a lot of institutional money, big money, you know, pretty much those that run things are putting money into that thing. Also, you have people that's in the dark world, whether you be a, a drug lord or the CIA, that's also what, doing transaction within this untraceable currency, right? Now, where does this fit in prophecy? Look, look, we've been saying for the longest, the apostles, the elders, Right, you have the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, where everything is going to be a digital transaction. Right now, digital currency has been around for decades. All right, your credit card, your debit card that's a form of digital currency. But what we're, what we're seeing now is they want to eradicate dollar and just have one global currency. Meaning, so when you leave one place, you don't have to worry about different prices and none of that. It's going to be a universal, uh, uh, some a universal currency. So that's how the chip is going to work. You know, you, you go to China with your chip. You know, you're not going to have to worry about converting your dollars and none of that. You, all your thing is going to be on a, a, some, sort, some sort of digital currency, you know? That's, in, that's that's also biometrically implanted in you, all right? Because, you know, you might use your debit card and such in a different car, uh, country, all right? But sometimes I don't know how that how that kind of works. I don't know if you, have, if you have to withdraw money and change it over. I'm not too sure. But when you have something like a Bitcoin, for example, right? This is how... A lot of people that do illegal activities uh, uh, loan the money. They, they use that Bitcoin because you can't trace it. Now, the government might use a centralized version of this cryptocurrency, maybe the Ripple or something like that, all right? But the point being is all your tangible asset is about to be tied to a digital ledger, all right? So whether it be a bike, whether it be this, that, and the third, that's not going to be making smart homes and smart fridges and all that. Pretty much when you purchase an appliance or an object, all right, it's going to be linked to you biometrically, all right? All that information stored on your on your chip, all right, is going to be stored up, up on that asset. And that, and that extends to what? To currency, man, all right? So the fact that this thing is blowing up like this is making the average and more people that's on the street get intrigued about it. You know, they see it as a, a way to come up and make some bread, which, hey, fuck it. If, 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 that, if, if you've been making money off of it, I can't knock you. Keep doing your thing. Oh, you understand you understand that it's something that most people didn't and you got in early cool but we have to see the biggest the biggest scheme of things the biggest scheme of things is you know what are they doing all right they're wiping out the small guy the small business guy why because the small business guy can operate his business using hard cash all right they just want mega blockchain such as your whole foods your costcos all right your amazons your facebook you know pretty much all these things all right um, when you go to uh, do a transaction, just be a mega big blockchain because that's when legislations can be easier and, and people can come in line a lot easier. For example, right now, if Amazon was to be ordered to use just cash, no more cash, just straight digital, right? You can go to your small mom and pop and say, fuck it, man, I like conducting in cash. Well, they're going to get rid of that guy, all right? That's how come they're passing things like these lockdowns and draconian laws and raising the minimum wage, which is just raising labor costs for your average middle class uh, business owner that they can't, they can't deal with uh, 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 make a blockchain with, all right? And when I say the fall of the hard currency is right now, you'll put, you probably have about 18% of the currency, about 18% of that is actual dollars and coins and stuff like that, man. It's just like how they collapse the tokens. If you, you know, familiar with New York and you used to take the MTA, Right, you said you used to have something called tokens, which are like coins, you know, and you could actually exchange those coins for money. Now, 
they dished that and they went to the MetroCard system. So you used to have to swipe with the card. And they collapsed that MetroCard system and now they have the Omni system, which is a digital tap and go. And soon that's gonna be null and void. And you're gonna be having to ride and communicate, do everything with a biometric uh, uh, form of uh, 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 transaction um, that should be implemented any part of your body. That could be put in any part of your body, man, which is the RFID microchip, man. All right, and it's so interesting that, you know, for, for this thing to, 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 to rise the way it did, you must have had a collective group of people come together, all right, because the scriptures speak about their secret counsel in the book of Psalms, the 64th chapter. You know, you must have a serious amount of institutional players coming together to boost this thing the way they did, you know, in one agreement, okay, for that secret agenda. Which is not so secret because the prophets, apostles, elders, right, the brothers are bringing these things to light. We look at things, all right, we say what's going on in the world, what major things are happening in the world right now, and then we uh, apply it, it's so like if we look at it, examine it from what a spiritual eye self, man, that was given to us in Revelation 3, chapter and the 18th verse, meaning we look at that and say, how does what prophetically is going on here? You know, how is this playing a part in prophecies, man? All right, and we see that this digital currency thing is playing a part in prophecy concerning all the microchip, man. Because the scriptures say you cannot buy and sell unless you have this thing. And the scriptures talk about rich and poor. And we're seeing a separation, a greater separation between rich and poor. And we're seeing hard, tangible cash being a thing of the past. Now, they don't necessarily have to say, uh, when, 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 they, when they say crash the dollar, okay, they could just transition out of the dollar. Just like how they transitioned out of tokens, you know, because China is not using it. Ukraine is going all chip based, all right? These guys slowly and gradually do things, you know? Just like how you cook a frog in a pot to the point where the frog has known it's been boiled in, you know? So that RFID microchip is right around the corner because what the rise of digital currency is pretty much taking over, you know? Cryptocurrency at that. You look at that situation in Venezuela, I don't know if I, if I said it, I, I try to do this show and I, you know, had to restart it over. But Bitcoin really got a lot of fame with the Venezuelan crisis, all right? Because you had a lot of the wealthy that had to flee Venezuela and they had their wealth stored up in silver and gold and all that. But when they when they tried to leave Venezuela, they couldn't leave. But the ones that had their shit stored up in uh, digital currencies, uh, such as the Bitcoin or whatever, they was able to go into different countries and still preserve their wealth, you know? Because when they went into the next country, the other country accepted Bitcoin and this, that, and the third. All right, so you have a lot of people in fear of all the printing, all right? I'm talking about even Americans, man. I be watching these different American, uh, 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 these uh, different uh, channels, okay? And they just, uh, that just, you know, afraid of the what's going to happen with all this printing, that they just throwing their, throwing their money up in that crypto stuff, man. All right, so everybody, that tension is there. That, look, this dollar as we know it is not going to be, it's going to be worth zilch, you know? Because... The Federal Reserve wanted to sell. That's what that that's that's all the Federal Reserve Act. That was that's what that was all about, man, about destroying the dollar. But look how look how much years it took to do it. So that's why we're saying this man is a gradual uh, demon, man. He 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 he, 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 he um he used gradualism. Alright, he's a subtile uh, serpent. Now the Federal Reserve <clears throat> from about the eighteen hundreds to nineteen thirteen, um the dollar was worth a dollar, you know? That one dollar could get you a dollar for about a couple hundred years, right? Now, the moment the Federal Reserve in 1913 took over, all right, and started issuing out these uh, pretty much, you know, not backing, um, um, you know, the, the, the money supply with gold, but rather, you know, issuing out treasury notes, all right, IOUs, <clears throat> the dollar went from Pretty much that same dollar in the 1800s, that in the 1900 that was one dollar to one dollar. Now, all right, that same dollar is worth about five cents. All right, that's what you call inflation. All right, that's what you call manipulation of currency. Okay. So this man, don't think it's like just coincidence why these things are happening. No. The secret council of these devils, man. All right, they come together, they plot. You know, they already probably have draconian laws already in the works for one. For however, for however one, they're ready to uh, switch up currencies, make this chip uh, mandatory. You see they're already making the V 
uh, mandatory. This one lady, she got fired from a job. This one lady, she got fired from a job because she refused to take the, the RV, you know? So this is the society we live in, man. This thing is no longer, this thing is no longer, uh, uh, man, I, I don't know if these guys are right or I don't, I don't know this. No, this, we live in a time with all these things are in front of you, man. All right? And this is how come we have to measure the time digital, diligently in itself, man. Hey, look, 2021, the hit, the, the hasten of our Lord's return. All right, Yahweh Shimei Osha is making things happen every single day. All right, whether it's, whether it's strange storms all over the world, all right, whether it's putting the Egyptians against the Egyptians, whether it's knocking out the stars of heaven, whether it's stirring up uh, and brewing up wars, okay, or whether it's showing you that, look, this RFID microchip and digital currency, all right, it's on the rise. It's on the rise, man. So the game, the naysayers and all those that um, talk shit over the years, the scoffers and the scorners, all right? Uh, what it say in Ezekiel 33rd chapter? Then you're going to know that the prophets have been among you, man. Because all these things have and still coming to pass. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Rakakodash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, true well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there. Lock him to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom, brothers. You almost have this bitch.